Have you ever thought that animals can be like zombies? Well, it is true that there are parasites that can take over the minds and bodies of their victims, turning them into the undead. In this video, we will see some of the most terrifying animals that zombies control. Number 1. Currently, one of the best known parasites is a fungus called cordyceps. This type of parasitic fungus infects various living organisms, including insects, invertebrates, and plants. The most prominent species of cordyceps is Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, which hosts ants. These fungi attack the host, replacing its tissue and releasing long, thin stems that grow outside the host's body. However, it is important to note that fungi of the genus Cordyceps do not affect humans. Infection by this fungus occurs through spores that are spread by wind, water, or other animals. Once inside the victim's body, the fungus begins to develop and spread throughout the victim's body. In the case of ants, it initially affects the muscles of the legs and jaw. Subsequently, under the influence of the fungus toxins, the ant experiences a change in its behavior. It stops feeding and drinking, and its movements become clumsy. Finally, the fungus induces the ant to climb a tall plant and dig its mandibles into the vein of a leaf in that position. The ant dies, and the fungus begins to grow. It is important to note that the cordyceps fungus does not exert mental control over its victims, as is sometimes presented in movies and games. It does not affect the consciousness of the victim. It simply influences their behavior, leading the ants to lose their fear and climb to significant heights, which increases the chances of the fungus spreading. Number 2. Snails lead an unconventional life, moving slowly along the ground and susceptible to infection by various parasites. One of these parasites, the peculiar Leucochloridium paradoxum, significantly alters the way snails feed. This parasite enters the snail's body, gradually consuming around 20% of its mass. Then, it generates special structures that protrude from the snail stems towards the eyes, displaying strange green stripes that attract the attention of birds in search of easy prey. To ensure that the snail is ingested by the bird, the parasite even modifies the snail's behavior, inducing it to stay in well-lit areas. Once the snail is consumed by the bird, the parasite enters its stomach and begins to lay eggs. These eggs are naturally released when the bird defecates on the ground, causing another snail to swim over them, restarting the whole process. Number 3. When you see a beautiful butterfly fluttering around, you probably don't think about parasites, but you might be surprised to know that there are butterflies that start their lives by tricking ants into taking care of them. This intriguing behavior is observed in the blue-tipped butterfly, which deposits its larvae near the nests of Arion ants. The amazingness doesn't end there. The babies of these butterflies also emanate a scent similar to that of ant babies. When the butterfly larvae hatch, they fall to the ground near the anthill and wait silently until an unsuspecting ant passes by. The ant, believing that it has found the lost offspring of another ant, picks up the butterfly larva. From that point on, diligently care for the butterfly larvae until they are ready to venture into the fascinating world of insects. Number 4. There is an intriguing parasitic beetle known as Melo Franciscus, whose larvae deploy an ingenious strategy to infiltrate hives. Upon hatching, these blister beetle larvae congregate in groups on plants, releasing a substance that attracts male bees. These males, fooled into thinking that they are facing a female ready to mate, 
approach the twisted ball formed by the beetle larvae. When the male bee tries to copulate with this mass of parasites, the larvae cling to him. Later, when the male bee finds a real female for copulation, the beetle larvae move to her and are transported to the hive. Once inside, the beetle larvae feed as much as they would young bees, but they also consume bee larvae. Number 5. Most parasites tend to hide to avoid detection by their hosts and thus avoid an adverse reaction. However, the Asimo exigua breaks this rule, as it does not mind usurping its host. This parasite stands out as one of the most unusual in the world since it enters the fish through the gills. Once inside, it bites the fish's tongue, blocking blood flow. The tongue, deprived of blood, begins to decompose and eventually falls off. Although this is not beneficial for the fish, the parasite has an ingenious solution. It takes up residence in the remaining portion of the tongue and takes on the role of a functional tongue. The asimo can move in the fish's mouth, helping it ingest food. But it is not limited to that. Once established in the fish's mouth, the parasite also feeds on some of the fish's food, becoming an additional snack. This phenomenon attracted media attention in 2016 in Puerto Rico, when a customer sued a supermarket alleging illness after consuming fish with this peculiar parasite. However, there is no evidence that a simo is harmful to human health, and in some cultures, it is even considered a delicacy. Number 6. In another area, approximately half of the world's population is inadvertently infected with a parasite called Toxoplasma gondii. It is estimated that between 30 and 50% of people around the world are infected with this parasite. In infected rats, this parasite induces a change in behavior that makes them more likely to interact with cats, the natural hosts of Toxoplasma. Normally, rats avoid the smell of cat urine, but once infected, they feel a strange attraction to this smell. They move closer to cat habitats, thus increasing their chances of becoming prey and allowing the Toxoplasma parasite to return to its favorite host. Furthermore, it has been suggested that Toxoplasma infection may be associated with an increased risk of suicide, the development of schizophrenia, and slower reactions in humans. Number 7. This tiny parasitoid uses a fascinating tactic to reproduce. It deposits its larvae into the spider's abdomen, but instead of directly controlling the spider's mind, it releases a substance that induces the spider to spin a specific type of silk structure known as a support web. Under the influence of the parasitoid, the spider creates this platform for the larva. Once the structure is ready, the larva eliminates the spider and occupies the platform to complete its development. This example illustrates how parasites can surprisingly manipulate the behavior of their hosts to ensure their reproduction and survival. Thank you for watching our video. Until next time.